Okay. Um, the note that I have to help me remember where we left was that Vicaris went to the city council. Or they went to the council hall to spy on Gellin, and I don't recall what everyone else was doing prior to that. I believe they went back to that cabin. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. To Zelok. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Um, so, the thing that Vakaris wants to do is going to take time. So, uh, is there anything in the about two-hour block where he is occupied that that you guys would like to use to do something else? Or, like, have a di direction for where you'd like to be headed? <clears throat> uh, what time of day are we at, approximately? About 4 p.m.? Hmm. What was the resolution on the council with so, well, not the council, Ida specifically? What were they doing with our undead friend? Uh, it didn't appear to be that she was doing anything. Um, Just setting a guard. Yeah. Uh, I will let you guys think about that then, um, because you'll have you'll have time to do so. But uh, right, we'll go with uh, Vicaris, who went to again. He went to the council hall uh, to turn himself invisible, uh, to walk into Galen's office, and yep. just sit there until he leaves or listen in. Right? Uh, yes, both. Okay, so roll me a stealth check with advantage. Now watch me fuck this up. Ooh, 15. Ooh. Pretty good. Not excellent for sure. Um, uh, he does notice that the door opens because it would have been closed as all the office doors usually are. Uh, and he just gets up and shuts it. Uh, looks around in the hall to see if anyone had opened it. Um, but that's enough, but, like, that interim time's enough for you to, like, go sit in a corner or something. Um, for this hour and a half, he, as he's finishing up work, um, uh, and again, this is an, an hour and a half, so there will be a half hour where you are, um... Not invisible. <laughs> correct. Um, and you mentioned just Misty stepping out the window, right? Uh, Yes. Okay. Okay, so for that hour that you are invisible, what you hear is... Uh, hold on, I've got to double check a quick fact. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. You hear him speaking... Um, well, I, I would... Why did I say it like that? Um, you see that he is writing some notes, uh, some very small letters that he is sealing, and then, uh, and he is not using it, um, a, an office seal, he's using the, um, the seal of his own family, uh, to, mm -hmm. to, uh, to close these envelopes, uh, and you notice that they are in Elvish, um, but they are in very faltering Elvish, um, as if he's not fluent um, Vicaris and, is dead. Super hard right now. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and they talk about um, th these. These are requests for items to be sent to him, more or less, in different lo different different ways. He is asking the very specific items, specifically. Um, uh, swords and long bows and things like long swords and long bows uh, be uh, <laughs> crafted and sent to certain drop locations or like theoretically to his house kind of thing um, and then and that's what happens in that hour then you step out the window <clears throat> do I see um, who it's um, addressed to? Um, I would say Yes, uh, these 
are directed towards. Let me give you a name. Uh, Lethriel. Uh, oh, hold on. I gotta remember what that name is in Elvish. Hold on. <laughs> um, uh, the first name is Fifth Rathriel. Um, and I'm I will give you. Right. <laughs> and the <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, uh, and the name translated into common is Stolen Branch, but I mean that wouldn't uh, matter to uh, you specifically. You would you would speak it in as an Elvish name. Um, and these appear to be headed towards the Silver Strand Woods. Okay. And then you leave. What do you do after you leave? Um, <clears throat> before I leave. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> um, I would likely meet up with the people. Uh, meet up with everyone. Okay. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's say you, you do that and it doesn't really matter. We can just say it's like on the street even. Uh, so everyone's together again, and then where do you go? And or Picaris, what do you say? Uh, there is something off about Garen. He is making his request to a fifth Ethereal. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> um, for the weapons that we found in his basement. I do not trust this Garen anymore. I when I as the ability to go invisible again, I believe that I will uh, be uh, spying on him again. Is it enough that it's worth just confronting him directly? If you think we have enough information? I personally would want some more. We'll wait then. Hmm. Is it... Is it worth trying to recover the weapons from his basement? <clears throat> I think it might be better to... Because we don't know where they're going right yet, right, Sarah? Um, no. Okay. I think it would be better to get information on where they are going. If they are used for the armory of the towns, then no harm, no foul. If they are uh, being smuggled to some less than uh, noble causes then I believe that would be a time to bring it up to the council. It sounds like a wise idea. And Asani, uh, do you have any thoughts about this? Does this matter to you at all? Not in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> um... And uh, and uh, Yumi, does this? Do you have an opinion that you'd like to share? No, I mean he is suspicious. I don't know if we have enough information on him to make any assumptions. Okay. Uh, so, what would you like to do then, folks? Got to measure. I've got to re recall days, but it might be. I believe it's uh, nighttime. Well, it's it's evening, yes, but okay. um, <laughs> it might be the night of. Uh, nope, it's tomorrow. Um, the night of a. Uh, Planketa's uh court date. Oh right. Oh. <clears throat> Zolek, that's his name. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, we seem to know that 
Gillian Primewater is involved in smuggling weapons. We know that uh, the Scarlet Brotherhood <laughs> seems to have something to do with that Zolak character who's under the house in... Uh, Crabber's Grove. Crabber's Grove, yes. We know that they're doing something on behalf of, but perhaps not at the request of Anders. And we know that Ed is very concerned, but we don't know how or if all of these things are connected. Hmm. I feel like the thing about Anders is more having to do with that scav wave chaser Kreb. Yes, no. but he's a member of the Scarlet Brotherhood. He's the one connecting the Scarlet Brotherhood to Zolek. Yes, yes, yes. I just meant less Anders, more Wave Chaser. <clears throat> right. So it, se <clears throat> it seems to me that we can pursue this mystery and try and unravel this a little bit. Um... Perhaps until the time of Punketta's trial, right? But uh, without any further leads to go on, I, I don't know what else we can do. We do have the contract for Ingo's uh, box. I said what I said. <laughs> Damn right, you did. <laughs> All right, so what would you guys like to be doing in the next couple of days? Um, Punkhead's trial is today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I, um, speaking of above board, I, I think that's our, our next uh, our next thing. And then after Punkhead's trial, like, figuring out something to do. <laughs> um, I think... I would like to spend the night on the turtle shell. And I will try and sleep uh, a little bit early and uh, perhaps later into the day so that I can stay up most of the night. Um, <clears throat> with my helm of underwater breathing on so I can see in the dark and see if I can't <laughs> see what's going on under Gallon Primewater's house and see if I see any boats, go rowboats going in or out. Okay, cool. Um, I would let you break up that I, I would let you break that up that way because you're not doing anything else theoretically the next day. Right, okay. Um, okay, so uh, anyone else at any other intentions for the evening then um i'll also go to the turtle shell but to uh get the book so i can continue studying it okay by all means and then if i show up as i think it's autumn tomorrow i might go hang out with him <laughs> <laughs> okay uh and yumi um i don't think yumi has any plans right now. Okay. Zashel? Zashel will... Probably... I will stay at the empty net right across the way from Prime Water Mansion. Mm -hmm. Um, only because I feel like too many of us on the turtle shell will be get uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't really have any. I thought about sending Quetzal to watch Zolek, but I can't really communicate with him at that distance anyway, so. Okay. I'm not. Alright. And Asani? Uh, <clears throat> I will head back to the turtle shell as well. I don't feel comfortable being around all these people. 
Okay. Also, in the next morning, you could probably go with them. I was, yeah. yeah. Um, let me get a perception check from uh, Yop then. Um, never mind. Oof. Okay. Is this for watching the boats and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay, never mind. I'm not there. Uh, for nighttime, there is. The thing is with like how these vessels work and 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 shipping and everything it's very difficult to like it's not unexpected and out, out of the ordinary for things to be coming into port at night right. um and that does kind of obstruct your view of anything that like any small craft that might be going through those tunnels um and there's also you realize because there are multiple tunnels like under the city in general there's a possibility that this might not be the only tunnel that is being used uh and especially that evening um there's not like a whole bunch but but Mm. uh that occurs to you as you're on watch um right so i i it sounds like i may see a couple boats maybe even a rowboat or two going in or out but while witnessing that it occurs to me gee i don't know what goes to where right <laughs> okay. that, um, that sounds on brand right <laughs> <laughs> uh but if you'd like the next morning the uh two of you who can swim and breathe underwater uh can absolutely try that uh, like like going like, yeah trying to go through <laughs> Dasani, would you like to go for a swim with me? I love being wet, dude. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, do that. <laughs> I always forget yeah. you're a fucking woman. Good. <laughs> that, that, was, that was definitely the issue with the statement. That's yeah. definitely <laughs> the statement. Don't worry about it. Um, wonderful. It Bright chest. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we will go do some investigating under the water and okay. see if we can't get a better bead on exactly which uh, uh, small tunnel leads into Gallon's place and see if we can't see if anything's going on in there. Okay. okay. Uh, so you both go, you both are capable of going underwater. You both have a swim speed. Things are great. This is wonderful for the two of you. Mm-hmm. Um, until you get to the spot that is just under Galen's home, which mm-hmm. has this, you know, this, uh, this, this portal. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see the lowered portcullis. Oh dear. <laughs> what is that? Well, it's a, it's sort of a gate, silly. We, are, we, um, <laughs> are we underwater at this point? Yes. But you, the both of you, I believe, have the capability of communicating underwater, given your special features. Yop is using the ASL taught to her by Dr. Bob Vickers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Dr. Bill Bakaris. <laughs> <laughs> This is why you pick up Thieves Cant, everybody. <laughs> How do we get through it? Well, um, I think I'm a little too wide to, to just fit through. We need to find some way to get this portcullis up. You could, in theory, if you have the, if you have the tools for this, you mm-hmm. could use magic to pull the lever that's a little ways away. If you had something that did that um you also could try to lift the gate with like by raw strength mm, well, raw strength is not really my thing um if i get right up against the portcullis can i see a lever or something that might operate the thing uh yes you can um it's 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 about one two three four about 20 feet away um and it is a crank are there are there bars on this gate or is it like what kind of gate is it it's a lattice iron gate so it's a it's um crossed 
Oh, okay. That makes so sense. I would be able to fit through it. Correct. Well, do you, do you want to try and lift it, to Sally? Yeah, sure, man. All right, I, I will help. <laughs> okay. Um, real quick, let me just check on something. Oh shit! What you think? <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your strength? <laughs> what's your strength modifier, Yab? You guys Zero. have the strength, same strength score. <laughs> Perfect. Um, uh, so, Adam, in your yes. druid knowledge, what would be a great thing for him to turn into right now? <laughs> well, I was thinking about that. Oh, actually, is he level four? Uh, I believe he is, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, well, then yes, he he's he's got swim forms then. Yes, he does. So he could basically transform... In, I mean, he could transform into anything. He, he could transform into a, a, a snake. Yeah, he could transform into just a, a fish and go through the portcullis. Oh. Well, then how would you get through? Well, you'd open it from the other side. Oh, from the other side? I mean, does that not require the same strength? From well, there's side? a lever on the or there's a crank on the other An side. An easier crank on the other side? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, I would say that, like, in or just... Oh, actually, that's weird that that's that strength. Um, I was going to suggest an octopus because logistically that makes sense, but it's got like mm -hmm. a four strength as its actual stat within the game, which fucking sucks. Um, but like, yeah, you could turn into a, like, you could just turn into a small fish, swim through, and then turn back into <clears throat> yourself on the other side. Okay, cool. Um, druid things. Druid things. Um, yeah, before he does this, you, can I see anybody in there? Um,. What you see, uh, I'm not making, because you're yeah. right up against it, you don't need to check. Um, uh, what you see is a, essentially a, a river, the tunnel, the stone tunnel mm -hmm. underneath and the river that it, that is flowing out towards you. Mm -hmm. um, and that crank is on a very small platform, stone platform that's built out on top, like uh, okay. out from the tunnel. Uh, there does not appear to be anybody there. Okay. Okay, so is this my go? Um, I, <clears throat> so I change into a fish, swim through, and where is you said the crank? Uh, I, I don't have it like on the map, but like you, oh, you obviously. can you can just there, turn back it. and okay. yeah, you can just turn back into okay, a person. Turn back into Dasani. Mm -hmm. Oh, and roll perception check. Nope, you can just see it. Oh, I can just. See oh, it. I mean, uh, to look for other people. Oh, on the yeah. outside, you know, now that he has a better vantage but you, point. But you said there is any insight. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> so, back into Sunny, and then... Oh, what do I do now? You turn the crank, dear. <laughs> Where is it? Go the other side. Oh, okay, here it is. There you go. Sonny <laughs> pulls the lever and opens the gate. Okay. Yep. I will swim on in. Yep. Cool. Uh, Dishani, let's, let's close that real quick, just so if anybody comes by that was expecting it to be closed, they won't suspect anything. Okay, how do I close it? <laughs> no, we're going to turn the crank. Here, let's oh, go. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, there we go. Now, we need to be very quiet, because we don't know where the tunnel leads or if anybody's down here. Do you think you can do that? Got it, dude. Nice, very nice. Now let's have a little look around and see if we can't find out anything interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have this little outcropped platform that's only about 10 feet wide or so, um, and it is immediately built against some stairs that lead upwards. Hmm. I wonder where these go. I guess we're going up. Let's try and be very quiet as we do so. Okay. Oh, stealth. Yes. Stealth. Uh, Dasani, do you have Pass Without a Trace prepared? A what? I don't believe he does, no. So. Okay. Uh, thought I'd help. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, a okay. cough cough do you have it prepared? <laughs> Um, I would give an opportunity because this is the next day and this was kind of theoretically rushed and, and Andrew, you're still kind of 
like because you knew this was what you would do you were doing i would be i would be okay with like right now if you wanted to reprepare a spell or something um i i would feel like that's justified yeah and then now you have to unselect something okay <laughs> don't think i need that right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we got a 24 for Yop and a 15 for Dasani. All right. The top of the stairs. Dasani, you don't have dark vision, right? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, so once you get to the top of the stairs, it is dark. Uh, you can still see a little oh, bit I... of the light from Gosh. the uh, from the gate portal. But Yop is leading because she can't see in the dark. Uh, and then you get to a door, a wooden door. Do we knock at it? <laughs> Does this wooden door look like it might be brand new? Not this one. <laughs> okay. Underwater, brand new door? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, is there, is it. Does it appear to be locked of some sort? Do we have to test that out for ourselves? Uh, you can roll investigation or perception check. Okay. Let's see if this thing is locked. Here, I'll help you. Look over. No, you want to look right through there and see if the tumblers are moved over this way. You, do, you are helping, right? Yeah. Do it. Ooh. <laughs> uh, it does not appear to be locked. This oh, very is good. <laughs> Bright jazz. And that makes sense in a moment because you find out that it is an interior door. Here we go. And uh, shift click. Ooh, map there change. you are. Woo. Are we still underwater at this point? No. Okay, so we come up the stairs and it's like it, it reveals into like just a place. Yes. Yeah. Got it. You you are in a cellar. Can you see okay? I can. Great. Mm, let's let's have a quick little look around, but remember to be very quiet. Right. Um are these just chests and stuff over here? Crates? Mm -hmm. That sort of thing? Well, I'll start poking through them. Okay. Let's get investigation. Oh, ooh. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, nah, you're fine. <laughs> okay, I didn't see that. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Are we looking for anything specific? So, like... Honestly, I don't know. Marks on the weapons, log books... Uh, anything that might indicate where these things are going to or coming from or if there's some nefarious thing attached with it just something unusual besides the fact that uh, there were fey weapons down here uh, when Vakaris was down here type of any magic item of some sort uh, actually with the 24 investigation um, this is, you know, theoretically you both mm -hmm. perusing through some of this stuff. Uh, you find fey weaponry, which I'm, I, it, there's no way to know if this is the same stuff or a new shipment. Right. Um, but long swords and long bows, short swords, short bows, um, that are all crafted, not, not only in elven make, but in fey elven make. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's a lot more detailing and a lot more, you know, seasonal theme. Right. Um, very uh, kitschy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's also a couple of scrolls um, that are all bound together. Uh, there appear to be three of them. Uh, as well as a um, a coat uh, or a cloak a robe um, with uh, some stitched sleeves and some Odd patchwork on it. Mm. Uh. Mm. I don't really like stealing under normal circumstances, but mm. Gallon Prime Water might be into some very bad things, and I think it would be best if we took these scrolls and maybe this cloak too, and perhaps they could give us some clues as to what's going on here. Better safe than sorry. Yes, I agree. Um, I will. 
I will, like a lady, stuff them in my shell. Love that for us. <laughs> okay. Give me one moment. Uh, and, okay. Um, and then the three. Sorry. All right, cool. And then what? And I'm assuming that was the scrolls and the robe, not all of the weaponry you found. Yes, the weapons I'm leaving. Yeah. Um, you shall we continue our search? Sounds good to me. Uh, is this a door here? Uh, it's an open okay. portal into that room where Dasani was just at. Okay. Uh, Dasani, why don't you check there and I'll check this room over to the right. I got a phone call and I have no idea what just happened. So after after he talked, we heard nothing. Oh, okay. Um, uh, you're you're just still wandering around in this room, in in these rooms. Yeah. I will look around in here and see if I can't find anything incriminating. Okay. Um, there appears to be alchemy supplies, but that's not necessarily incriminating. Right. Yeah, I'm not really super interested in that. There's a lot of static stairs. Right? Oh. Did you find anything in here? There's some stairs over here. Yo, oh, well, I'm nervous about going up any further. We don't want to show up in, uh, the council member's home. So, are, do, are we not sure what this place is? It's just kind of like an unmarked area? It's um, government basement where oh, I was trapped earlier. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, which which Got you it. would be able to figure out because you, you know, went under his house. <laughs> Got it. Okay, makes sense. Okay. Got it. Mm, why don't you check that room on the left and I will check this room on the right? Is that a furnace I'm looking at? Yep, just a furnace and, you know, wood. And then in this room, Dasani appears to be more common types of, uh, like, quote-unquote adventuring gear, rope, rations, that kind of thing. Well, I'll do one last check in here. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Unfortunately, nothing of terrible interest. This appears right. to be more of a pantry area. Oh, mm. Look, dried figs. Mm, I like dried figs. Um, I think perhaps we should get back to the turtle shell. What do you think, Tasani? Right behind you, do that. Don't forget to whisper. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna head out. That's his pass without a trace. It's just reminding Yop to whisper. Nice. <laughs> Plus ten percent. <laughs> um, so when you get back down, um, mm-hmm. I, you know, you pull the, uh, you pull the uh, crank mm-hmm. to open the gate. You both can swim through, and do you try to close it afterwards? How do you do it? How do you go about that? Uh, here's what I'm gonna try. Okay. I am going. I. This is out of left field, right? But okay. I am going to try and wrap my chain whip around that wheel. Um, hold on, I've got to think of which way it has to turn. Yeah, that would work, actually. Well, mm, then the whip gets caught in it as it gets lowered. Mm. Uh, I will let you roll. I'll, let's let's do this. Let's roll. Let have let's have you roll an arcana. Mm-hmm. Check. Okay. <laughs> um, this will it will get caught, um, for mm-hmm. sure. How, how fast is that? Oh no, it's not like we're releasing it. Like we've got to crank it down. Mm-hmm. Hmm. A bad thing if we just leave it open. <laughs> Uh, if it helps, um, there is the possibility of just grabbing it and pulling it down again. 
Well, we can try that. I don't know that. Uh... Yeah, let's give that a try. Okay. I've got my weight working for me in this direction. Exactly. <laughs> uh, let's get a strength check with advantage for this. I'm going to kick my feet, also known as using my inspiration. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, with a little bit, with a little bit of an effort and a little bit more ruckus than you'd probably like, um, you can pull this thing at least close enough down that you can then shove it all the way into its locked position. Lovely. Perfect. And we will head back to the turtle shell. Okay. Follow you back to Dasana, you did such a good job getting us in there. We should, we'll have a drink this evening. I've got a special brew. Can I scream now? <laughs> <laughs> right, yes! <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> and I will put the... the what, what, it was three scrolls and a cloak? Mm-hmm. I will summon Betty over and put them in her mouth. Okay. Actually, who else is on the uh, tortoise shell right now? Is it just Vicaris? Uh, Yumi would be on there. Okay. Yeah, I, I we will yet. share with them uh, what I found and ask them if they either know anything about these things or um, recognize anything um actually let's unroll those scrolls can it, are, are they in a language i can read that was gonna be the first question I asked. <laughs> um they are they appear to be spell scrolls okay um <laughs> uh for featherfall long strider and magic missile okay Oh, well, they're not exactly incriminating, but they may be helpful. And I think that's it. Okay. You guys didn't really find... So you found the spell scrolls, right? Mm -hmm. Did you find any new weapons? No, I mean, just... Well, we found... Those fey weapons. Fey weapons, but it was nothing in the It was from the previous shipment or from the new shipment. There was no way to know. Okay. No. Yeah. And I've I've got this cloak. There's there's no like patches or anything identifying on the cloak. There are patches on the cloak. Um, hmm. Uh, ones of some of. Uh, sorry. Um, what's the word? My brain's trying to say emboss. It's not embroidered. Mm -hmm. uh, embroidered patches that have uh little uh, spacings in the stitching mm -hmm. where you could like kind of fit your finger into it I gotcha. um, uh, and they all have and there's one two three four five six seven eight like nine different patches on it mm -hmm. all right well i'll have to have someone take a look at this at some point point. and what were on the scrolls uh, they were spell scrolls, which means if you are capable of casting those spells at any point, like if they're within your class, uh, you can use a spell scroll, and it's a single-use item, but um, you can use it without using. You can cast that spell without using a spell slot. Got it. Or in theory, if you're a wizard, copy it into your spell book and right. um, and then just know that spell. Right. Or I don't think any or of them are. Rules. Yeah, I don't think any of them are ritual spells, though. Yeah, none of them are. Correct. Yeah. Okay. When does Daddy Eli get back? Um, in Cock like four days. Damn, what did you say? Cock block. I said, God, why? Oh, like <laughs> cock block. <laughs> Speak up, my kick. <laughs> All right. Um, would. Hey, should we, uh, should we meet Sashel at the Empty Net? I think that's a good idea. Is that the, uh, the tavern or the inn you were staying at? Yep. 
Okay. So yeah, as long we... as there's a bar, you owe me a drink. <laughs> oh no, I would. You won't be buying you a drink at the bar. I have something special later this evening. Even better. He winks at her. Give him a uh, okay. A weird child. <laughs> uh, all right. You you guys go to the empty net where Zashel has been staying. And then what? Hello, Zashel. Hello. <laughs> Zashel is probably, since it is definitely morning, sitting out, reading, sitting out front of the empty net, reading from his tome. Good morning, Yap. How are you doing? Oh, everyone's here. Yes, we we are doing quite well. We um we did a little and Yap looks around, looks over her shoulders. We did a little investigating this morning and uh, retrieved some items from Gallant Prime Waters that um we thought might be uh telling and grant some us some additional insight, but instead they might just be regular old useful items. There's one in particular that I'd like you to take a look at later. Okay. But uh, have you been doing... Sorry, God. No, go ahead. Uh, Vakar's just gonna sit uncomfortably close to his asshole and try to read over his shoulder. <laughs> do you speak Celestial? I do not. Then the book is, I'm afraid, gibberish. <laughs> what is so special about this book? Oh, I'm sorry. Not not Celestial, actually. <laughs> I thought I spoke Celestial. Do you not? I'm pretty sure you do. That'd be weird, is it Asimar? <laughs> uh, I'm definitely not an Asimar. I don't know why I said that. My bad. <laughs> I watched the You video are today. a celestial warlock though, right? Yeah. 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 I thought you had picked it up. I thought you would have gotten that with your uh, background, but you did not. <laughs> it turns out Zashel just likes the way the squiggles are shaped. <laughs> <laughs> I think I assumed I got it because of my um patron, but then didn't pay attention and didn't pick it in my background. You know I'll have to uh not not to be like a like, you know deus ex machina or whatever but like I can't understand why, I do not believe that there is any way that this book could not be written in celestial and you would not be able to read it you know I mean it could just be that I can read this book and not actually read celestial so sure yeah who love that <laughs> yeah so it is gibberish nonsense to Vicaris. Anyway, um, what were we talking about? We were talking about Gillen, uh, and how, uh, Yop and Dasani went to go investigate, but didn't really find too much except for something he wants for you to look at later. Uh, and then we were talking about you. Oh, right. Apologies. I'm distracted with. Uh, Punketa's upcoming Are you situation. For the trial? In a manner of speaking, yes. Um, this is not for Acquisitions Incorporated. I know there was several votes against her joining us, which I understand. So this is more of a, a personal interest. Um, how much time because the trial is today how much time until the trial uh, trials take place in the evening after council meetings have been closed at about yeah. 5 yeah I wonder should we try and pick up some sort of uh, job to do in the meantime mm, you mean like a job for the day possibly a job for the future 
Well, we have a job for the future. We have the yeah, we have the job for Ingo, which we can start on after this trial this evening. We can start tomorrow morning. I have a question. Um, I guess between the two of you, Monkey and I'm sorry, not Monkey, Yumi and Vicaris. Vicaris, you said the letters that Gellin was writing were going to some forest. Yeah, the uh, Silverstrand Woods. Yumi, are you familiar with where that is? Um, am I familiar with where that is? Yes. Here. I believe we have a map somewhere. Yep. The Silverstand Woods over here. I always say Strand, it's Silverstand, sorry. Oh, excuse me, I mean, update that. Okay, yes. Sorry, that was Zashel speaking in character about having a map. I think somebody bought one. Hmm. I know I have a shitty one. <laughs> Did somebody actually buy it by a map? Um, I don't know if you've bought bought a map, but the but these identifying forests, uh, the drowned forest, the silver stand, and the dreadwood are all forests that Yumi, even if she's never been to, would have to know about. So it looks like the silver stand is upriver from Saltmarsh. Mm-hmm. Huh. Mm, seems like it might be a, worth a trip into the woods. Or at least researching what um, what sort of folks might be there doing business with Gallen. Oh, well, yes. I, I do have a name, so that's a stop. Oh, yeah. That's very true. Um... It might not be. It might not be worth asking around here, only because if he's if this name that you have is from the Silver Stand, the only one around here in Saltmarsh that might know them would be Gellin. In which case, we'd definitely attract attention. I agree. Although after yesterday's conversation, I believe that Andis is on the up and up. And uh, surely, if he knows about it, it's through rumors, but he definitely isn't connected to them. So uh, what I'm saying is he's someone I think we can trust with, with information. Fair enough. I definitely get a similar feeling about Anders that he just seems... It seems like he was put in place to be a useful pawn. If the magics were... Available to me, I would try to contact his mother's spirit, although that would be a little invasive. It would at least get us the answers we need. I'm genuinely curious if her passing was due to the cause that is said, or if perhaps she was killed, poisoned, infected, done away with, in short. Um, I did kind of want to touch base on uh, that lamp that you have, and if you are willing to uh, trade for the three scrolls that you, that I purchased, on your behalf, of course. If if the lamp is that important to you, Vicaris, then of course you may have the lamp. I do believe it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it is not here, so we will have to go back to the lighthouse and get it, but Oh, no, in, in due time, of course, of course. <laughs> um, but I do have your word, so you can have your scrolls. An even trade. I appreciate it. Um, in the meantime, we have some hours before the trial. Is there anything... Do we want to go back up to Craver's Grove? Speak to the temple, maybe? How did... That is a question I do have. As you can see, I'm not uh, formatted for uh, a trial. That's probably not the best where my abilities are served today. Uh, is there something else I could be doing while you all sit on in the trial? 
I don't think the rest of you need to attend the trial. This is, like I said, this is a somewhat more personal matter that's not acquisitions incorporated business. Perhaps I will return to the lighthouse and check on things there and then come back and pick people up that are staying in town. Are, uh, who are our two lackeys? Are they with us? Toby and Micah. Yeah, are Toby and Micah with us? Uh, they, I believe, were sent back to their families who are here, so they're in town. Uh, I will be right back. Apparently, my son wants me to say goodnight to him, so I'll be right back. Okay. Well, she's gone. What should we do? <laughs> the rest of us. Uh, if Galen's gonna be in court, right, they oversee all court proceedings, the council? No, last time it was Galen and Copperlocks, but I think it's just two of them. I don't yeah, think it's, it's necessarily either, the same. It's either two or three unless there's, like, it gets locked up or something like that. If he's at the trial, it might be a good idea to sneak into his office. Is that really a good idea? Is any of the cars' ideas good? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. All right, sorry, I'm back. Very good. No worries. Um, unless there's some other threads that we want to follow specifically. Sanballat gave us two names. He gave us the proprietor of the empty net, who ended up being just a, a go-between, maybe a okay. middle middle miss type person. And then he gave us the uh, Jalar the Carpenters Guild person, Jalar, who made the. Mm -hmm. Um, is it worth trying to put some pressure on Jalar? outside of purchasing a lamp? Yeah, I, I think it may be. I, I tried last time, but I wasn't very good at it. Uh, as I was saying, my talents, which uh, do include intimidation, <laughs> might be best served elsewhere, if that's the kind of thing we're trying to do. Wait, who are we intimidating? The guy who uh, didn't want to talk last time? Yeah, I think we're going to try and squeeze Jalar at the, at the Carpenter's Guild to try and get them to be a little bit more forthcoming with information. I mean, that's just a, just an option. Is there any value in talking with Anders about his relationship with Scarin Wave Chaser? Could be. All seeing what he knows about uh, Fifth Lathriel Obog. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I did pretty good on the first name. I lost it in the last name. <laughs> you did. You did. Lathriel. Uh, it's a joke name. It... <laughs> no. I think I will go to the council hall and invite Anders to lunch. Will you plan on talking to him alone? Oh no, anyone can join me. I just want it to be a friendly conversation outside of the potential listening in that may occur in the council hall. So Yap is going to take him to a crowded inn because she's smart that way. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, you go to the council hall to ask to take him, you know, take him out. Um, and he is sitting at his desk um, with just a glass of water next to him and just staring rather blankly at the wood grain. He does not look like he slept all night. 
Hello, Anders. Hello, hello. Oh my, Andy, you don't, you don't look very well. Are you okay? Uh, um, no, not, not really. He, he, he rubs his hands, his eyes under his glasses, uh, oh. pinches the bridge of his nose. Dear, I'm so sorry. Tell you off what happened. What's, what's the problem? Why did you not get much sleep? Oh, don't, I don't, don't, don't worry about it. Um, just a family thing. A family thing. Um, is there something you need help with? You... Well, I, I thought, you know, we didn't really get to know each other very much. We didn't really get to talk at the party or anything. And I thought I had some free time and I was in town and maybe we could go out and get some lunch. Uh... He, he leans back in his chair and almost tips it over, but he leans back to the window and parts the curtain a little bit to kind of check the sun. And then he sits forward. He says, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just give me a second. <laughs> um, and he stands up and, and he starts collecting some things. Uh, he's just moving very sluggishly. Sure. And... Just out of curiosity, who, if anyone, has come with me? Yeah. I don't plan on it, but I did want to ask him a question before you guys leave. That's I fine. definitely would have gone with you. Okay. okay. Dasani, uh, Yumi? Sorry. Did you um, want to go with him to lunch or to talk to Anders? Sure, well, I will go with you. Stay back. <laughs> Make sure you don't bully Anders, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bully. <laughs> she did beat people while they were tied up. I will not let anyone forget that. <laughs> it was a scientific experiment. Group <laughs> one, right? <laughs> fully, fully, like, yeah, yeah anyway. Um, I feel like Anders is sensitive and... Yes. I shouldn't startle him some more. <laughs> Uh, so he collect, collects a couple of things and drinks some more of that water in the glass and just says, yeah, sure, where where, where you want to go? What was the name of that third inn, the one we haven't been to yet? The Wicker Goat? Yeah, let's try the Wicker Goat, why not? How nice okay, is cool. Uh, what was you'll that? find out. <laughs> is you'll that out. the one where Edda's brother or something runs? Mm-hmm. Yes. Out of curiosity, Andas, uh, who is going to be sitting in on the trial today? Um. Uh. Well, I'm. 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 I'm due for rotation. I think. Um. And oh. I think. What? Maybe I should not. I. D I don't want to give the. In appearance of impropriety, I should probably not join you since I will be representing Panketa in the Oh Proceedings, uh, that's the word I'm looking for uh, I, I don't think it's so big of a deal if you want to uh, I don't I don't I don't, I don't know um, I think uh, Manny's the other one today too Did you say Manny? Yeah, Manistrad. Manistrad ah, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had any sort of useful spell for him, but I don't. <laughs> Cast suggestion. Act nicer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh, he'll. <laughs> no, I just realized. Um, yeah, I wanted to have Zasha look at that thing because I don't have identify as a ritual spell prepared which I absolutely do and spent <laughs> time to get a pearl last time, but that's all right. Continue. Oh, I was, I was actually wondering why you hadn't done that. Yeah. Cause I'm a dumb um, dumb, but that's all right. We'll get to it later. Oh, um, well, so like this, this lunch thing is happening at, you know, noon ish. Mm -hmm. You would have had the morning to do that. So I'm just gonna, oh, all right, I fair enough. do have a useful spell. You do <laughs> I have lesser restoration because I'm a celestial warlock. Oh, very nice. Be less sad, donk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that blind, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned applies, or a disease, but, you know. <laughs> uh, but but uh, once Anders has collected a couple of things, he 
leads you down to this tavern down here, the Wicker Goat, um, which is which is uh, the most nondescript, except for its hanging sign, which is what looks like the bust of a goat that is uh, made of straw. Um, and the interior, he actually, as 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 you are uh, as you're headed in, he's like kind of kind of weird that you guys would want to come here, but whatever. Uh, and when you come inside, um, you see that it is largely populated. And I say largely, it is exclusively populated mm -hmm. and divided almost down the middle mm -hmm. between uh, the guard folk, like the the, the the like people off duty from the jailhouse and the mm -hmm. barracks, and the dwarven miners. And there is a very clear divide between the room. And one half of the room you only hear dwarven chatter, and the other half is uh, mostly humans uh, and a couple like and a couple of intermediate. Uh, blended race as well, uh, speaking in common. Um, You'll have to forgive us, Anders. We are unfamiliar with this town. Some of the establishments still. Yes, I just wanted to go because I haven't been here before, but it looks very nice. Yeah, it, it's alright. It's fine. Uh, and he goes to the he goes to the bar to order something to eat. I gotta find the Oh, there it is. Um, uh, he speaks to the uh, the person running, uh, who, the person there, whose name is uh, Lankus, uh, um, who appears to be uh, who appears to be a, um, a veteran as well. Um, but Anders talks to him pretty pretty easily. Um, in fact, his demeanor kind of changes in a way that you weren't really expecting. Um, he he goes from being that really like blue and and down and for a moment you can almost hear that not like salesman sleaze but like but he's but he's a positive face for a second um and then he just kind of sits back down and once uh Lankus has walked off it, like he just kind of reverts back into that um just dour and sad <laughs> I'll go up and order some food too, and then follow him around to wherever we want to sit. Okay. Uh, let me think. Do I have a? Do I have a map <laughs> for this one? Oh, I do. Um, I'll get you there in a second. And uh, and so when you sit down um, with him, he just kind of, he just looks up at you and says, uh, "So what you uh? Is this about?" What would you want to meet about? Well, this is just about getting to know people better, my dear. You seem like very pleasant company. And as I said, we haven't had much of a chance to speak or get to know one another. So I thought we'd take this opportunity. I'm mm. sorry you're not feeling very well. Are you sure there's nothing we can do? Mm, no, no, it's, it's, like I said, it's family stuff. I understand, but sometimes when you talk about it, it makes you feel better. It's like a huge weight is lifted off of you, just... Uh, roll a persuasion check. He just, he just kind of shakes his head. Tell me, tell me, tell me! <laughs> I'm really not feeling it. I understand. Well, did you have a nice time at, at Gellin Primewater's party? Uh, it's fine. It it could have it could have been better, but I mean, I don't. Ugh, I don't remember most of it, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh dear. I mean, I that's I don't. Do you do you remember the big functions very well? I understand. Do you remember the loud noise and the big commotion? Uh, kind of. Yo, oh, well, it sounds like you were having a wonderful time at the party. A man after my own heart. Uh, uh, sure, yeah. Mm, they met some very interesting people while I was there. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah? 
Yes, well, I I saw Ingo, uh, the drover, who's a very interesting fellow, and Captain Zendros, I met. Um, do, you, uh, do, do you know either of those individuals? Uh, ki- kind of. Um, I don't... I, I've... I've worked with the... That, you know, the tiefling lady before. Um, but, um... She has a very interesting temple slash shop. It's quite, uh, quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's kind of, it is pretty weird. Um, but, you know, everyone's kind of got their own thing, right? Oh, absolutely. To each their own. I, I did meet very briefly someone, a Scarin wave chaser who seemed quite interesting, but we didn't have much time to catch up either. Uh, roll an insight check for me. Mm-hmm. He, it's it's soft, but with that insight, it, you you notice it instantly. He flinches mm-hmm. when you say that name, and mm-hmm. uh, and he just kind and he just nods. Hmm. We also had occasion. Uh, we also had occasion, uh, not at the party, but uh, later on the next day, I believe, we met one of your uh, competitors in shipping, a gentleman named Oswald. Oh yeah, um, Mr. Temp. Yeah. Yes, he he seemed very nice and had very complimentary things to say about you, despite the fact that you're competitors. That I think that speaks very highly about your business practice. Uh, oh, yeah? Well, that's nice. I don't usually, um... He, and I, he doesn't usually... Huh. Not a big fan of Mr. Temps? No, no. He's, he's fine. I doesn't really like me that much. Didn't think, anyway. Hmm. Well, I guess he was just having a good day. Maybe. You know, I noticed earlier you didn't seem very comfortable when I mentioned Mr. Wave Chaser. Is there some tension there? His nose wrinkles up and, uh, and... No, oh, there's I... some tension there. I'm sorry. Yeah, um... It, it's it's fine. It's just, um... Professional stuff, I think, I guess. I understand. Mm. Well, do, do you have friends in town that you can talk about these things with? You seem very down, Anders. Uh, I, I, um, I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I've got, I've got family and stuff. Hmm, family's very nice. It's also nice to have friends with professional skills, um, like, oh, I don't know, say, uh, the Saltmarsh franchise of Acquisitions, Inc. We, we're very, we're very helpful and have a wide variety of skills, and, uh, as, uh, Zashel will know, our our prices are quite reasonable. Wait, Zashel, are you a therapist? (laughs) If I need to be, I suppose. Uh... More we can usually get to the root of a problem and deal with that if there is something in particular that is. Oh yeah. Um. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um. It. Uh. I. I. I appreciate it, but I. It's kind of um. It's kind of like. It's kind of complicated. I don't know if you want to hear it. I mean, isn't it best to talk about your feelings? 
Right? And you will look to Zashel. Zashel nods. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We are we are all ears, Mr. Anders. Mr. Solner, sorry. I get this dude's names backwards for some reason. <laughs> I'm going up and buying beers for the table and coming back. <laughs> uh, just water for me, please. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, he he kind of looks into the glass and and spins it on the table a little uh, and just uh, and just says, "So it's um, I don't really like, especially uh, with you know, people who don't really know and and even then most people aren't really that interested. But um, uh, kind of has to do with like, you know, my my mom. Um, and you know, not not a lot of people like to hear that kind of stuff." Um, but, uh, I don't, you know, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough role to be filling anyway, you know, being a council member after someone who was like as helpful and, and influential and, and, and well liked as my mom. Uh, and I'm um, just kind of getting put into the position, not really knowing what I'm doing. Um, and I thought I had, uh, I thought I had somebody who was, um, I thought I had a couple of friends who were helping me. Um, and, uh, just something happened yesterday that made me kind of second guess everything um just really a uh, career my 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 shops um people i i spend time with it was just um it was just a, a lot just had a long day Well, it, it sounds like you, my friend, are having a small existential crisis. Which is not unusual for uh, any sentient creature. But what I have learned in my many years is that a wonderful therapy for an existential crisis is a little bit of the ale. And she'll tip her glass back. Uh, he he kind of looks back into the glass and just says, uh, I had a pretty rough time at a, with Prime at Prime Waters when I last got a little too into it. And God damn it, Anders. Get drunk and spill your guts. I do have to go to work again. Uh, roll persuasion. Yes. <laughs> Makes sense. Make killing it. <laughs> Just killing it. <laughs> B- basically, after I say that, Betty is nudging the bottom of, of Anders' glass, trying to get him to drink. Uh, <laughs> spill it all over him. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Great, cool. This is better. Yep. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. He he puts his hands on he puts his hands on like his head in his hands and just starts shaking. I will put a hand on his shoulder, I will press to digitate his clothes dry. Thank you. Believe it or not, Sumner, I can relate a lot to what you just said. Uh, my mother, I didn't know her, but she was destined for many great things. Unfortunately, in the line of work that she and my father were in, she passed long before I... It's a little complicated, but she passed before I was hatched, you could say. Obviously, I'm not referring to my actual mother. Um, 
there was there was a bit of a mix up. But oftentimes stepping into the shoes of someone who was destined or seemingly destined for amazing things is a lot it's a lot to ask of someone. It's a lot of ask to ask of you to be a council member and run a business and do all of these things when you're no offense intended, very young and most people your age would still be uh, well, he, living a little he pulls his sleeves out from under his coat and uh, and starts wiping his eyes and just says, yeah, yeah um yeah, that's right thank you thanks Also, no offense, but that story is very weird, and I don't really understand a lot of it. But you should definitely try telling it again sometime when I can, like, y listen to you better. Because I'm very interested in whatever that was. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's actually a fairly simple premise. Can you tell the difference between a dragon's egg and a Yonti's egg? Uh, I don't, not off the top of my head, I don't think. Yeah, neither could my parents. So, oh, my adopted parents thought they were rescuing a dragon's egg, and instead. But my father was very nice to me. He was a very good man. He is a very good man. He's farther south somewhere. Cholt, I think he is now. Wait, so were your parents dragons who didn't understand you weren't a dragon egg? No, no, you mean my parents were Yanti. They had placed my egg in a crash to hatch, but the crash was in a tomb that was raided by adventurers. And thinking that it was an offering, that it was a dragon's egg put up to be worshipped, they as unlicensed adventurers are wont to do ran off with my egg I hatched into a family of dragonborn they were more than a little surprised and that's why I believe so heavily in the mission of acquisitions incorporated regulated and licensed and trained adventurers who well won't kidnap an infant Huh. I I don't know if that's something we can promise. I mean, at the very least, there it's is pretty good goals anyway. At the very least, there is accountability. <laughs> it's we have it's, a certain friend who is unpredictable. We do. But there is, at the very least, accountability to the head office. So, if at any point any unnamed associate of ours might be a liability, that is covered, so to speak. Regardless, the point is, I understand how difficult it can be to follow in the step footsteps of somebody with seemingly so much ahead of them. And all I can tell you, Anders, is that surrounding yourself with competent and trustworthy they don't even really have to be friends. Associates. Friends is better, but reliable associates at the very least is a good way to sort of share that burden around. And so, if you are ever in need of some assistance with your burden, we are here. Not necessarily as Acquisitions Incorporated, although... That's not what I was seeing. <laughs> I know, continue. I'm sorry. Uh, not only as Acquisitions Incorporated, but also as individuals. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. That actually means a lot. Um. Was that? Is there? Uh, I've got maybe you know, forty minutes left until I should probably be back. Is there well, then we should probably make sure we eat our lunch and. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of this afternoon before you have to go back. <laughs> he he nods. Uh, if there's anything else you guys want to ask him or talk about. How familiar are, familiar are you with the Silver Stand Forest? Oh, um... Uh, I, I, I've got a, lot, a few notes uh, from from, um, from my mom about it. Um, uh, why? I may have some business there later. I was unfamiliar with the name when it was posed to me. Oh, um... um I was just hoping to find out anything before I headed out there. Well, uh, um... I mean, I, I can give you some tips now, but... Uh, what you really want to do when you follow the river, uh, if you're if you're headed out there, um, there's a there's a uh, an outpost uh, called Burl, uh, headed by um, her name is uh, now I've got to control F find the name hold on uh, headed by a uh, Kiara a uh, shadow breaker, she's um she's a uh, an excellent soldier and commander. Um, grew up with her, actually. Good friend. Um, but um, uh, she'll have a little. She'll know a little bit more about the um, the nuance of uh, navigating that uh, social structure. I should say the elves are um, the elves of, of Silverstand are uh, interesting. Um, not bad, not not bad, but uh, so a long time ago, um, there was a lot of conflict between those elves and the people here, uh, and it was um, it was like four generations ago. They find I, I say generations. That was just like human generations. There there are probably still elves here who elves there who remember the signing of the wildfire pact which I, for because i've messed it up so many times it is in fact the wildfire pact um uh i kept meaning to look it up and forgetting and then i finally did uh anyway um but uh i mean they're not they're they're mostly friendly they're just not really not really like a tourist attraction you know they don't love outsiders they're very private Interesting. Well, thank you. That's actually very helpful. Kiara Wave Shadowbreaker. I will. Mm -hmm. I will make sure to call on her. Yeah. Hell yeah! yeah I even spelled it right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. You tell her. I, tell her I, I. I said hi. Yeah. So that might help. Of course, of course. And if there's any correspondence you'd like me to carry out to her. You said your old friends. I would be happy to do so. Although I, like I said, it it's not anything immediate. We have a, a standing contract uh, after today's trial to work on. I yeah. believe that. And he kind of looks at Dasani. And you mean what? A week? Two weeks for that one? I think. Sounds right. I, I would say probably two weeks, just to be safe. The sign is not actually there. Oh. Oh. I thought he said he was going with. <laughs> oh, do you want to be there? Wait, where? I'm sorry. At their luncheon. I, no, I wasn't. I said yeah. I was staying there. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, if I can... Uh, I might send you with a letter. If, if you're alright with that. Absolutely. Whenever, whenever yeah. you get back. Just... 
Uh, yeah, come come by the office when 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 you get back in town. Will do. All right. Well, this has been a lovely lunch. We should probably find out what happened to Yap. I think she's still chasing Betty outside. I will see you later at Punketta's, uh trial, Cyrus. I have some more preparations to do myself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good luck. Thank you. It was good speaking with you. Yeah. Th thank. Thanks again, guys. Okay. Um, all right, folks. Uh, Vicaris and Dasani, what were you doing in the meantime? Sorry, what? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what were you guys doing while they were out at lunch? Oh, I was asking Andrew because he was whispering something. But, okay. And I wanted him to say it louder. But anyways, <laughs> um, so I had planned on heading to the market again. <laughs> Okay. I'll follow with them. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you want to do at the market? Um, first, I need to stop somewhere to buy a bottle of wine. Okay. Easily um, done. Sweet. And it needs to be fairly good wine. Okay. Um, I think... <laughs> I believe the most expensive wine is 10 gold, so I would say you could get a pretty good bottle for like 8 I was going to say, your second best wine, please. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else your also best $7 wine. <laughs> hey, sometimes those are the good ones. Don't knock the cheap shit, okay, Sarah? <laughs> I am going to spend five gold on whatever the best can get me right there. <laughs> sure, yeah. It's it's your wine gets you perfectly up. functional. <laughs> <laughs> perfectly Perfect. serviceable water, bottle of wine. <laughs> Is it, is it plastic? And that's what we appreciate in the Bay. <laughs> it's a good deal. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that about uh, Eladrin. <laughs> Everyone thinks we're extravagant. No, no, no. It's about the deals. <laughs> it's, it's your savings. You're thrifting. DD's <laughs> discount on nothing. Okay, what are you, what are you doing after that? <laughs> um, I am having... <laughs> I am heading to see my lovely captain. Okay. <laughs> and Dasani has some other reasons to go. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, what, the two of you. <laughs> Just, what? I'm from Burton, for sure, my late charm. Sure. <laughs> wow. Did you want to tell her what you're trying to do? No, no, no. <laughs> no? Okay, this is fine. What you're going to see? Yeah, this is who I'm going to see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm literally fire right now. <laughs> oh, are you? Yes. Yeah, so we're <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I will head in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and say, well, hello there, lovely lady. <gasps> I'm sorry. We have to take 10. You say I have to take damage? We have to take 10. 10. Oh. <laughs> oh, perfect. So you can get prepared for this. <laughs> I do. I do need to like mentally prepare for this, uh, but also we're we're a little late for ten, so. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, we'll take our break. At I'll the take top. A few shots so I can get more smooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, you and I both need to like <laughs> mentally prepare for this. <laughs> yeah, it's weird to like hit on my sister. <laughs> uh, you know my sister. <laughs> Gay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's not even the same race as me. I don't know who you are. You're so different. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna literally look over like Joseph All right. look over him and be like, so I'm gonna explain my character to him. Have a good time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. All right, back in ten, folks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so Vakaris comes in uh to the quartermaster's Vios with a. Uh, a lot of confidence and a lot of heat. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm summer. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, it's my own words, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was working on it until you cut us off in the break. <laughs> I, I just wasn't ready. I needed a minute. <laughs> Secondly, we weren't either. We've coordinated our efforts, so it should be much better now. <laughs> Excellent. 
Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, let's do this. Um, she comes up to you and she's like, oh, my favorite customer is returning once again for maybe the third time this week. Is there something I can help you with? I am so glad to hear that, honestly. Um, however, I was thinking about how we had dinner not long ago. I'm sure you remember. Um, and you said that you don't like to go to the Fae. And I think that is just such a travesty. And I can only assume it's because you've never had someone walk you through before. You need a guide to really enjoy the Feywild. Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting interpretation of the words that I said. <laughs> <laughs> I believe so, yes. <laughs> but altogether, not necessarily, I would say, incorrect. Is this something that you are willing to offer me? Absolutely. Matter of fact, I believe you you belong in the Fae, and it would be a travesty not to take you and have you experience it. Uh, I might actually be tried for not bringing something so beautiful back to the Fae with me. That's not his name. Look over at him and go, dude, what's with the accent? <laughs> <laughs> it's not an accent. You are an accent. <laughs> <laughs> She says, my dear, I'm a little, I'm a little committed in, in manner of speaking to working on this plane, but um, perhaps a visit is something that I could arrange given some time. There is but, not a lot that I could do. In fact, most of my, uh, most of my Templars and Acolytes here would be rather lost without me. It would be a shame to have this place fall into disrepair if I were to just stop and leave. Right, and I, I actually had, I, I thought about that. Specifically, think about what you could take and sell from the Fae. Like right now, you're just working with material plane stuff, but think of what we have in the Fae Wild that will boost your business. I said what I said. <laughs> could you, could you, <laughs> could you roll a persuasion check for me? Absolutely. <laughs> Hey, I secretly wanted it to be bad, but that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly do you have in mind? I'm thinking that you can come visit. I can be your guide. And while there, you can acquire some things that you in turn sell here. Uh, as a type of symbiotic relationship, one that benefits us both. She tilts her head back and and pushes some hair aside and just. And how exactly are you benefiting from this, Vilgaris? Uh, time with you, of course. She smiles, and you see all of her sharp teeth. Is it weird that I like that more? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Doug? Go <laughs> <A little> back. <laughs> I'm gonna um, look at him again slightly and be like, why are you sweating, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I am not! Don't you have things to buy? <laughs> uh, her tail flicks behind her and she says, This offer intrigues me. When about would you be making this trip? Do you have a portal or teleportation circle handy? Uh, working on the finer details on that. Um, however... <laughs> Uh, however, I would assume once I start uh, collecting more stuff to advance in the summer cold, that uh, it will be around that time. So you you have time to prepare. <laughs> she looks you up and down and she says, "And what exactly would be your station with them, Lord?" Sorry, say it one more time. What exactly would be your station amongst the summer court? Well. Certainly now it's more of a, a humble beginning, but I think once I return with all these interesting things from the material plane, that uh, I will be able to advance rather fast. Hmm. What sort of interesting things do you carry? Oh, I have a... T oh, I... I do not have my bag on me. It's currently in a bird. Um, but I can certainly bring that bird back and show you all the lovely things that I've gathered from this plane so far. I would be very interested in seeing this with Goddess. Mm. 
Just white. But that is, uh, as is, uh, as is, I, uh, as is my duty, I must ask. Are you planning on purchasing anything today? Or making any sort of deals, contracts with me? She looks at Dasani. You really shouldn't say this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any shrooms here? No, I was going to say you should say that uh, part. That part? Yeah. Oh, the creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny's gonna look over him while he's like steaming and sweaty and <laughs> kind of cast and creates water <laughs> and so, and so uh, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and you just dump it on Vicaris? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll kill you off, bro. Uh, you'll have to forgive my wet friend. Uh, he's not around people very often. <laughs> or at all. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I can clear this right up. <laughs> and, and I will uh, press to just shape myself however long it takes to fully dry off. Um, <laughs> and he will very quickly run away, basically, as <laughs> he's cleaning himself up. Looks back later, do that! <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> no, he's, he wants to buy things. Nah, <laughs> okay, okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, I was gonna buy shrooms. <laughs> but, uh, no, do I need them? No, I really don't. Yeah, talk to her. Yeah. Do it. Uh, do you guys have, like, shrooms I could buy? <laughs> Unfortunately, my business is not in the practice of, um... Shrooms. <laughs> I should say more, um creative uh, creative items more uh, manufactured yeah. pieces something I could maybe provide no I just wanted shrooms but you're good <laughs> but you're you very interested I, do you know where I could find some by chance yes just north way up the road uh, at the green market you can purchase some which way is north the town she she uh, she uh, so you guys are uh, in this Our building, and she Wait, points no. down. Reminder, this that's road. a legit question with this map. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, it's down down the left on the road. Well, I mean, obviously, if I look at a map, I can understand. It. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get my character, obviously, like I'd, I'd figure that part out. Weird, here -ish. It's right here. Got it. Thanks, Judette. Appreciate it. Of course. The cars. How you feeling? I'm fine. <laughs> uh, she walks to the door where you're probably still like outside, um, uh, and from a distance, uh, cast prestidigitation as well to help clean you up a little. <laughs> that is so nice. Until we see each other again, I uh, I promise I'll be drier and uh, down one friend. <laughs> Hopefully, you're winter next time. <laughs> She just waves her fingers, rings jingling, and walks back inside. Later, dudette! You are the worst. <laughs> Dude, what's with the accent? This is how I talk today. What's with yours? We don't even know where you're from. You don't even know where you're from. But it sounds a lot cooler than yours. I believe we have a trial to get to. <laughs> Right, right. Fucking teenagers. <laughs> I'm ready for the Yap and Dasani fucking <laughs> road trip movie. <laughs> okay, is there anything else that anyone needs to do today before trial? Nope. Ted, did you have anything you wanted to do? People you wanted to talk to or anything? Uh, no. I mean, I'm can. I would go talk to Punketa to give her the same kind of pre-trial pep, not, well, yeah, pep talk, I guess, that uh -huh. uh, Toby and Micah got, same deal, but we can just go. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yop, anything for you? Mm. No, I think I'm good until the trial. Okay, and uh, Yumi? I do not think she'll do anything before the trial. 
Okay, no problem. All right, uh, so in the evening, you all go to the council hall where there is the tr um, where the courtroom is placed, um, and those who enter, uh, if you wish to make a save, you can uh, for zone of truth, I believe, wisdom or charisma, um, but otherwise you can willingly fail it. Yeah, Yop doesn't, doesn't care. Charisma. charisma. Yop doesn't care. No, does anyone does anyone want to try to resist it? Uh, the car is not going yep. in. Okay. Um, just on uh, principle. I think he's just going to be in the boat reading the book still. Okay. Uh, before they go in, though, Dasani does want to do yeah, something. Yeah, I'm going to cast Enhance Ability for Zashful. Okay. All right. Yeah, twenty-one is uh, enough to is enough to beat the check. Um, and is there anything specific that you would have emphasized to Punketta that she needs to be specific about, or if she can avoid talking about? Um. Emphasis on the nature of her duties, as in she was not like the boredom and gutum pirate. She was more of a quartermaster, since that sort of organization is actually a useful skill, regardless of where you are. Um, she wasn't originally, she told us she wasn't a, like a standing part of that crew, as I recall. Mm hmm. Um, so definitely emphasize that part. Make sure to leave out... Well, she didn't have any idea who their main connection was anyway, so... Um, no, that's... I think that'll probably cover it. Okay. Uh, so, at this... Besides the just wants to go home part, so, like... Yeah. yeah. Um, so... In her in her testimony, um, she she talks she talks about these things like she talks about that in she talks about those things, um, and she specifies that she like that her job, her position as a deck wizard is so it is in such high demand that she has technically the pick of uh, she's the pick of. Um, choices uh, of ships um, and she did willfully join this crew um, but was not as she understood it when she first was hired um, that this was a smuggling vessel but admits readily that um, the pay for her services was substantial enough that she ran a few different jobs with them and, sp and says that she has worked with the Sea Princes rather indirectly, but that is where a lot of things either came from or went to. Um, <clears throat> as well as the occasional shipments that were that would go out of country. Um, uh, those who the uh, the judges who the judges on uh, on the stand are Anders and. Um, and Manistrad. And both of them have a very serious demeanor. Manistrad, in the similar way, but not with as much venom as was when she when you saw her last in court, has is just kind of sitting with arms crossed and listening with a very furrowed brow. She's a very intense uh, person. Um, but uh, but Anders is looking more calm than usual uh, and is taking careful notes uh, as well as you know there's like you know a stenographer and all but like but he is keeping his own file it would appear um, and when it is when when Panketa has said everything that she can uh, the two of them step back into the back room a few minutes later they come back out and uh, and Anders reads her sentencing, which says that 
there has been someone who has voiced interest in employing her as um, uh, in her capacity as a wizard, but she would be confined to land service exclusively. Uh, she would be marked with a um, with a a cuff that would um, that would keep her away from certain parts of um, would ward her from really going towards the docks in general um, and would alert the person who she is in service to if she were to ever get on the water in general um, and her ser and her service is four months time um, and she would be allowed to find lodgings and or stay at home like if she if she were able to find quartering she, uh, she would even be allowed to stay at the Mariners Guild Hall if need arise but she's allowed but she does not have to stay in the jailhouse um, and uh, and uh, that's that's that um, she's take it uh, uh, a guard goes to Panketa and uh, and puts a bracelet around her wrist and an iron bracelet that as soon as it claps around her the uh, fasten of it disappears um, and then she's allowed to go uh, and she's given a small piece of paper with an address what do you do following that It seems to have gone very well, Zashin. Indeed. Uh, I think this will be very helpful. Uh, for now, we can... We should uh, make preparations to sail out tomorrow um, for Ingo's supplies. We can come back to this particular issue uh, this evening once we have everything we need set up. Um, what does everybody think in terms of ship and crew? I don't know if the turtle shell Do you think we need a bigger ship? I'm sort of curious if the turtle shell and I will leave this to and maybe we should actually get Toby and Micah and talk to them about this. They'll their experienced sailors, will the tortoise, the tortoise shell, turtle shell, excuse me, uh, be a big enough vessel and be able to carry enough to make that trip? Or are we better off? I know Ingo offered um, to assist us in finding and hiring a crew. Ingo, not Igno. Um, Maybe that's something we should consider taking him up on, if if the tortoise shell, if the turtle shell, is not going to be sufficient. I think that's an excellent idea. Let's have Toby and Mike away in. They're here. <laughs> <laughs> I say we can go. We can go collect them. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you find the two of them and ask them what they think. Um, Are you guys meeting yeah. at the photo show? Sure. Yeah. Let's get. Let's okay. just have everyone be in the same spot. Okay. Cool. Because that's where I'm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um. And and Toby says, I. I mean, you know, if we're working, we're working. So, it's fine by us. Hmm. It's more, do you think the ship will be um, resilient enough? My understanding is this is farther out into the uh, water than the turtle shell has ever been. Farther out into open ocean, rather. Yeah, um... A vessel like this is... It could be fine. It's just not particularly fast. It would take longer. And, um... You know, the Azure Sea is a, is a roiling mess and to begin with. Um, truthfully, a galleon would stand better chances of... I, I mean, the ship that we're looking for is a galleon. Uh, that thing's lasted for years without 
without without without being seen or being brought to port at any point. So like like something sturdier wouldn't hurt, although this thing could do it. It would just take I mean, we run the risk of uh, this thing falling apart on us too. And he beats a fist against it. Hmm. It sounds like it's probably best if we take Ingo upon his offer for his ship and a crew. How many more crew members do you think we would need? I. It's not that I don't trust Ingo. He's the one that hired us, after all. Um, I just feel like the smaller the crew, the less chance there is for something to go wrong on that front. Yeah, there, there's that, but um, you know, one of the reasons people hire deck wizards or, you know, theoretically people like you guys, mercenaries and other things, is so that um, the crew can really focus on keeping the ship afloat. Um, if you went with a very sparse crew, if, say, we were attacked by like, a plesiosaur or or a kraken, or a sea, a sea turtle, a, 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 a turtle dragon, something like that. Dragon turtle, that's it. Um, if something were to happen to the vessel, one of you guys would have to be the ones to go repair. You would be at a loss, and, and the rest of the crew would be on deck, would be at a loss for protection as well. Um, uh, Truthfully, e even if it's um more expensive, it is always safer to have, especially out here, people. Fair enough. How m how many? So we know, have an idea of how many to ask uh, Ingo for. Uh, fully staffed galleon, maybe sixteen folks, right? And he, he looks at Micah, who kind of nods. It's 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 a lot, and. I mean, you can definitely run with less. You can certainly run better with more, but... Around there? 10? 10, 10 to 15 people? In addition to the two of you, or... Total? Uh, I think two, the two of us would count for two, still. So, theoretically eight more besides us. At least eight, preferably slightly more. Yeah, yeah. Plus that way, you know, you guys can actually rest, because um, if we have more people on deck, we have a better sleep rotation in general. And okay. we can actually be sailing through the nights without too much, without worry of overexhaustion or something. Understood. Okay. We Plus will... a galleon can have tons of people on it, without too much work. Like, if, if someone, if we can afford to stock it fully, it'll, it, it, it will not be a problem. Alright, we will speak to Ingo. And get back to you when we have better information. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so you go to talk to Ingo about this? What do you think? Speak to Ingo, or should we take uh, Ida up on her offer? I think she's offered us a crew before. We could hire her people. I think it's better to talk to Ingo. He has a more vested interest in I agree. This done. I think... Yeah, I, I agree with going to Ingo. To Ingo's! Uh, if I could. <laughs> uh, does someone want to... Um, accompany me to the five brand estate i want to hit up that library again uh actually i would love to go with you all right perfect well i will head up uh, to Ingo's and ask for the ship actually i take that back i should probably speak to punketta could you do me a favor Vicaris, and find out whatever you can on that silver silver stand forest absolutely uh, does anyone want to go with me in case I have a uh, difficulty with a fence? I'd love to come. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like really trying to ask, like, does that help you? I don't know. 
He's like, nope. No, it does. It does. It it does. It was just I, I I was I was just fully expecting Cars to say I don't want you. <laughs> That's kind of what I was expecting. <laughs> well, I mean, the next time I go to the market, definitely. But Fireman is mine. <laughs> He said uh, right up until the point that Dasani cast Create Water and douses him in the middle of the Daddy uh, Fire Runs Library. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be different if Daddy Eli was there, but he's not coming back for at least four more days. So <laughs> I didn't mean to. I sneezed. <laughs> Ew! That makes it worse. <laughs> oh, Create Water, and it's just a sneeze. Oh no! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's. I gotta write that down. <laughs> oh, uh, I will head up to Ingo's, and unless there's a reason, uh, I'm perfectly comfortable just saying, we're gonna take you up on your offer for a ship and a crew. <laughs> uh, he actually expresses that that's preferable because he wants to keep this as quiet as possible. Even though no one can open this box except for him, mm -hmm. the fewer people who are after it still, the better. The more right. chances that you'll be able to bring it back. So, right. that's absolutely his preference. Um, Fantastic. Yep. Uh, Yumi, did you want to go with anyone specific or what? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, so that that's that's that conversation had. Yep. Um, Vakaris and uh, Dasani, you go looking through the library. What are you looking for? Um... Information, information on Silverstand, and mm -hmm. then um, I am looking for like kind of a code-breaking book for Thieves Can't. Something like if we ever come across that again, like a a thing I can reference to help interpret it. Uh huh. What kind of if that makes sense? Is you know, I it's like a personal actually, private library. Oh, cool. uh, one of the council members. I didn't think about it at the time, but would my gift of words ability? I am trying to boom there we go um, um yeah yeah that would have that yeah that mm, yep <laughs> I completely forgot I had that because right. literally it was not until somebody made the comment of that's our cartographer I was like oh wait <laughs> yeah yeah ladies and gentlemen our documents <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay uh yeah for sure that's something that could work in that direction and i would say that yeah elian eliander as a um as as a, as a veteran would have something like code breaking text which i would say i would say using that would be the only way that Zashel would I, I would say for specifically for thieves can't which is technically still a language in in some form um yeah. would be the way that you can make that check and you would have advantage with that check okay um cool so i will take that book and then do we find anything on silver stand yes cool. um okay so okay. yeah uh yeah. this is what you said this is, he said this was a personal library yeah. yes like, well, do we have a reference on like what it holds or are we just have to ask and look um there's there's kind of things that he would have and things that he wouldn't have if you tell me what what Is you're there looking for. On uh, like, I think you, I think you actually checked for that, for that oh, last that was time. The same library. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, so this is what you learned about the silver stand. Uh, it got its name because the leaves in the bark of the trees has a silver glow to it, which is absolutely from like leaking uh, residuum uh, from the Feywilds. Um, yes! Yes. Uh, so this is a very small settlement of of some Eladrin, but mostly Fey Elves, oh. which is um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, um, that are descendants of Eladrin. They are how should I say this? Um I mean, they're racist. Like they're gonna, like they're gonna, they they are very exclusive. They actually look down on elves that they feel are bloody, like muddied blood, um, which w doesn't even necessarily count for half elves, but just like like uh, like high elves that are that cannot trace their lineage back to the fae. Oh like, my god, so relatable. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but but there's but there's uh, mostly spring Eladrin um, and and wood elves are the dominant is the dominant cluster here. Um, let me see. Uh, they live up in the trees uh, in in the canopy. Not really that surprising. Um, they have such a tight um, what's the word like hold on their borders that there is literally no animal that can pass through the woods without them without the clans knowing about it um and there is uh um the wild flame pact Did i keep saying that wrong god damn it um the wild flame pact is the bond that is kept between as i've said before um the elves of the wood and salt marsh uh and let's see uh as well as treants who sometimes wander through the silver strand but uh have been known to also be in all in the drowned forest as well as the uh um uh the dreadwood as well um let's see <laughs> um you also learn that the major reason that the elves were willing to create this pact, uh, rather than continue to push Salt Marsh to the point where people would leave that uh, that hold, um, was because they have a higher focus of interest uh, at um, in, in they, 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 their their greater enemy is in the Dreadwood. It is a night hag named Granny Nightshade. And she's where again? In the Dreadwood. It's uh, yeah, it's the Dreadwood. forest. Granny, what? Nightshade. Nightshade. Thank you. Yep. Um, let me think. Ooh, let's go kill a hag. <laughs> Just kidding. Not um, this level. <laughs> <laughs> she also is. I feel like that name is so familiar. <laughs> uh, Granny Nightshade is the is the main i would say like quote unquote evil presence within the dreadwood like the dominating presence um but she has several other hags that work with her and work in service to her she also has i believe i'd have to double check this but i believe um some cambian consorts i'd have to double check that but it's something along something along those lines um <laughs> oh oh cambian I was thinking the yep. ones that are like giant bugs. No. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't be in consort. <laughs> we all know that's that's the cars. What is that thing called? <laughs> Kazmi. Okay, that's what. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just double checking that fact right now. Uh, Jackal wears, and He's vampires probably. as well. <clears throat> Jackalwares and vampires. Oh, yeah, 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 jackalwares. Yep. Uh, let me think. And then you have the. Uh, and um, they this work would... for her, right? Quite yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then in the the hold point between uh, the the uh, I'm marking it on the map for you. Um, the keep. That is between Salt Marsh and the Silver Stand is a barrel, which um, what which is populated mostly by humans who are stationed out there, um, but also treants. There's a treant out there, uh, and then um, you would know because it's already been mentioned. Kiara Shadowbreaker. Um, I think that's it. She is absolutely. Mm -hmm. the person to speak to because she will be the mm -hmm. one who can besides theoretically yourself if you can talk talk nicely to theoretically your distant 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 cousins um um she has the best communication with the elves because they do not like talking with just anybody 
Um, if anything, they should worship me because I'm actually from the Fae, so... <laughs> That's true, but I mean, truth be told, but like, uh, like these these yeah. documents that you're able to see right. are like... <laughs> the, the do these documents that you're looking over now, they're... they are detailing events maybe 300, 400 years old, so the elves that were that again were involved in the conflict with salt marsh are probably still settlers from the fey like brett like born there and moved here kind of thing yeah yeah and and in fact would be in that case your senior which as as especially with fey and Aladrin go you absolutely are steps below them because yeah. uh yeah because ruling of age is so important I am quite young. <laughs> yes. You you are essentially an 18-year-old. Um, and... <laughs> but they age like dogs. Um, but, but, these, but these elves who would... These Eladrin that would be in charge of the settlement would be hundreds of years your senior and would... And you would know if you were to if you were to express impotence. Or it, no, that's not the word. God damn it! Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Oh, guys, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> that's definitely the word. It. I'm so mad. I'm so angry with myself. We have to. Go. <laughs> okay. Session's okay. over, guys. Um, if you were to if you were to if you were to act too arrogantly, um, you would be cut off and you would be thrown out, and that would be the end of it. All right, guys. Let's hope I don't show up this summer. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I, if I, <laughs> impudence if I, uh, was probably that was the word that I tried to say, and I said it too fast. <laughs> if I do wake up this summer, let's just like circle around the sh around the island for one more day. <laughs> Wait for me to turn to something else. <laughs> Uh, anything else that you want to look for while you're there? Um, I don't believe so. I don't think I'll be taking this book either since I gained so much from it, but I will be taking the Thief Can't book, which means code breaking book, which mm -hmm. means I will have to leave a note again um, saying thanks for the books, apologize, we'll bring everything back later, and then I am going to singe the edges of the book so that he, or the paper that I'm writing to him so that he knows it was it was summer me. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you said edges of the book, I was like, wow, what the hell? Yeah, what a dick move. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I said book and I was like, wait a minute. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and Zashel, you wanted to talk with Bunketta. Uh This would be, I think, like right after the trial. And so she is more or less just following the directions on the uh, piece of paper to get to the house that she's looking for. Am I familiar with the address on the piece of paper? Um, I would say that not seeing the address, but knowing the direction, the answer is yes. Ah, so, happy to be out? Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, thanks. Thanks for your advice. And thanks for this. Of course, of course. Um... Just, you know, don't. I feel yeah. like this is kind of obvious to say, but, you know, don't squander this and everything will be fine. The time will pass before you know it and you'll be able to go home. Where are where? You're not from Saltmarsh then. No, no. Um, it, it, it's it's fine. I I. I... I'm used to working at sea. Being home, being away from home is normal. Fair point. Fair point. Um, I, I, I hate to ask, but did you happen to keep my spell book? We did. I believe it is currently with uh, a companion of mine in a giant bird's mouth. Which is less horrible than it sounds. Uh, your book is in perfect working order. Um, we there are is, setting there out... There is clear panic in her face for a moment. Um, I, it, it, it's fine. 
Uh, I can bring it by this, tomorrow morning if that is acceptable. I might be yeah. able to bring it by tonight, depending on if they're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, do you know who this this is? And she holds up the paper and and points at it. Is it? I'm assuming, since that's mm. what I asked for. Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh, Liru is an old friend of my family's. I've known her pretty much all my life, so. Okay. And and, and I'm supposed to just do errands and, and keep her safe, right? That's That's what I'm doing, right? In a manner of speaking, the errands might seem odd or peculiar, Sometimes there is a sort of overarching mission that Lyra and I find ourselves on that you might end up assisting with. Um, I'll make sure to bring your spellbook by since I feel like some of those magics will be very useful. And come to think of it, I should probably arrange for sending scroll to be brought over. That would be a useful spell for you to know. Yes. Sorry, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, anything helps. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm just a sailor without it, and I can't go to sea. And she holds up her arm with the band on it. Which is uh, rather unfortunate and ironic, given that we find ourselves in need of an actual deck wizard tomorrow. But, you know. The gods have a sense of humor, I suppose. Oh. That Regardless. Liru is a wonderful individual. I think you will like her very much. Okay. Um, uh, I should, um, I should probably go and get some rooms I should go get a room at the uh, guild hall first, though. So, um, I'll, I'll do that, and then I'll head over. Is, is there something I should know or do? Um, any advice? I don't, I don't know what you mean. Well, I, I don't know, you know, working for a new boss, you know, you want to make a good first impression, and she already knows that I'm uh, you know, a uh, criminal, and this is, a uh, technically punishment, so. I think you'll be okay. Okay. The circumstances of my meeting Lero were, if anything, more complex than this, and it worked out fine, so... Be polite, be helpful. Okay. Yeah. You you may wish to speak with Liru first. I don't know. She may have somewhere to stay for you to stay there if that would be easier for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh and she starts to she goes off. Do you wanna go with her or no? Yeah, I'll, I'll go all the way, so I can... I'll go... That sounded weird. I will go with her to Liru's so that I can talk to Liru briefly. Okay. Um, we have this little cottage uh, in the middle of town um, that seems to have... Stepping into it feels nice. Um, it feels homey. Like, like, even in the yard, there's peace just by being there and the interior is uh, very well cleaned um, dust free but full of odd trinkets and silly weird things um, of all different types and, and of varying ages and and such um, and Liru's uh, very pleasant and, 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 and cheerful to see company, but then when she sees you, she gets, uh, she, she grins and hugs you. 
Is this my is this my new assistant? It is. Liru Punketta. Punketta, this is Liru. She bends down a little bit to get closer and, and, and shakes shakes her hand and Punketta nods. Yeah, um nice to meet you. <clears throat> uh what what do you need me to do? And uh, and Liru takes her inside and just like, points her towards um it just it lightly directs her around and then, and then returns to you and says, uh, thank you. This should be very helpful. I hope so. This way I can help two people at once. Efficiency. Hmm. <laughs> very thoughtful. If... If there's any problem... Which I certainly hope there will not be. Please just let me know. You know I can still take care of myself. Yes, but this is my idea, so... I sort of feel like if something goes wrong, it's on me. I understand. Don't worry. It'll be fine. If this was your idea... I trust that it will go excellently. We will be heading out to sea, unfortunately. We will be out for several weeks um, on an errand, I suppose. Contract mission makes it sound a little grandiose. We have some work for Ingo the Drover. Um, Hmm. Hopefully, we will be back within a week. They seem to think it will probably take a little bit longer. I will try to make arrangements for... Um, sending to be brought over for Punketa so that she can relay communication. Naturally. And I can... We can still... Speak at night, if, if that would put you at ease, I can. I can speak with you every night, if that would help. As long as it's not too taxing. Sure. Certainly Whatever not. Who else am I going to be talking to? I'll miss you. I'll be back quickly. I know. If I could have one more word in private with Punketta, and then I will leave you two to get acquainted. We have she, plans for tomorrow to finalize. She nods and retreats into another room. Punketta comes back out. Uh, yeah, what's up? How are you finding things? Good? You think this will work out well? Yeah. Yeah. She's a lot cleaner than most sailors, so, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I'm not being, like, enlisted in, like, a cult or anything, am I? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. Oh, you guys are like being like awfully nice, and it's like a little suspect, but okay. There is an explanation that is certainly a little complicated for right now. If all goes well when this is done, I will explain just. Be, just be helpful and and everything will work out. Oh, a cult. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, she says, uh, okay, all right. It's all in character, by the way. Okay, all right. <laughs> Specialist is backing up. Uh, okay, yes. Yes. No, there is no cult. This is 
you are being helpful to the two of us. But no, there is no cult indoctrination. We won't make you cut off ties with your family or anything like that. It's... I promise you this is all above board. Okay. All right. Great. Good. Now go out and sell these cosmetics. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Besides, we all know it's in herbal supplements these days. Jeez. True. True. <laughs> MLMs. Is that what we are? An MLM? <laughs> I, it's not about I, how much you sell. It's about how many people you recruit. <laughs> yeah. I, I will be honest, Punkette. I had a whole thing about making sure you understand that this, you shouldn't break your word on this. And But I, I don't think I need that. Do I? Uh... I don't think so. Cool. Excellent. I mean, again, I would say that that's very much contingent on the things she's going to ask me to do, but yeah. Nothing illegal, of course. Nothing dangerous, as far as I know. That's what I'm for. Okay. Okay. And then I think I'm okay. I think I'll be fine. Excellent. I will probably be by the tomorrow morning with your spell book. Maybe. I don't know. Before we head out. So I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Uh, and you head off. Mm-hmm. Uh um, are we spend? Are y'all spending another night in the turtle shell? Or are you actually headed home? We I should, like to head home. I was gonna say we should probably head home so that we can speak to Abernathy and let him know what's going on, because he was very upset the last time we did not do that. <laughs> okay. To the lighthouse. There you go. Um. Everyone's excited to see you home. It's been a couple of days. Uh, anything specific you do Wait. while here? Hmm? Does that include Sunny being happy that... Um, Not to Sonny. <laughs> Sonny is home. <laughs> Not to Sonny, but he's friendly to everybody else. <laughs> um, Yop will grab two mugs and hand one to Dasani. What's this part of that? Uh, yeah. We did. You did very well today on our little uh, investigation expedition, and I promised you a drink. And oh, right, yes, I forgot. Yop will pour uh, Dasani and herself uh, one mug of the dark purple foaming ale. Hell yeah. Give me one moment. <laughs> Uh, and I clink glasses with Dasani and I say mm, I would tell you this is some powerful stuff but I've never had it myself and she'll tip her glass back and Dasani says well thanks dude appreciate it and he starts chugging and what the hell happens <laughs> <laughs> so at first it acts as ale does but like it it you know within a few within within a short little period um you start getting a little heady mm -hmm. um it's got a really rich flavor that is very surprisingly earthy like um what's the word uh kind of makes you think of um impotent no well <laughs> thank you you're welcome um <laughs> Fuck. Uh, um, truffles. Okay. Uh, um, and then slowly, like much later, um, is when you have the vision. You kind of begin to get tunnel vision. It gets it gets a little dark um, mm. and dim, and you have and you begin to hallucinate, but a very kind of specific hallucination that's. Mm -hmm 
weirdly driven by like shapes of unfortunately arachnid uh, mm-hmm. in Ooh, nature. Ears. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, um, did you see that? Uh, this is called Underdrink. I don't know if I gave you the name. Nope. Um, it's a strong alcoholic beverage created by Diragar, uh, made of several poisonous herbs and monster venom, uh, and distilled uh, in, in 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 ceremonial fashion. As it happens, like, it's kill me. Basically, Adam. Thank you. <laughs> it's not. Still, I want to go find those mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, the thing is, is while while in while in these moments, it is actually still very creepy and weird. You don't feel threatened. Right. Um, you don't feel like you're in danger. It's just like it's just a oh, that's not yep. great. Yep. <laughs> Done that. Done that looking before. around, looking up. <laughs> that yap and goes, that's it. <laughs> oh, that's not it. There's. <laughs> Wait for it. Y'all yeah, picked up a lot of different things. Um, eventually, though, uh, you, uh, you, your nerves kind of deaden in a, in a sense. Uh, and in theory, mechanically, mm-hmm. you have resistance to physical types of damage. Uh, oh, nice. Yep. You I do have disadvantage on checks based on sight. Okay. But... <laughs> You are you are resistant to physical damage. Nice. Uh, anything else that happens that evening? Um. Just in terms of timing. Mm-hmm. Uh, like how long before the resistance kicks in and before the sight problem happens? <laughs> Uh, my note here says lasts two hours per dose. Okay. So I I would give I, I would say it would be fair for two hours. It's a coinciding my effect. Normal Tuesday. Got it. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Before before Dasani forgets and gets either either poisoned or passes out, he's gonna look at Yap and be like, "Thanks, do that. I feel amazing." Yes, it's very spooky. <laughs> did did you always look this way? <laughs> Yop will stare at her hands and turn them over and um they 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 think so. Hot <laughs> Ooh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyone else anything special for the night um Vakaris hasn't burned anything today so he oh will God be playing with the fire <laughs> uh wow. you actually can't it's a it's a it's an elemental spirit <gasps> what yeah <laughs> is there no fireplace there there is a fireplace but the the fireplace that is that essentially heats the entire structure uh through elemental. piping and things is is an elemental can he set a fire next to it <laughs> <laughs> like outside it yeah <laughs> like outside the fireplace nah inside the fireplace but like okay next to it <laughs> yeah yeah sure just really needs needs to burn things um i don't know if anyone's paying attention either yumi what are you doing <laughs> Yumi is managing the weeds that she has grown in the garden and has not taken care of in a few days. And by managing, what does that mean? Um, clearing some of it so it doesn't get overgrown when okay. they leave for a week or gotcha. two. Gotcha. And I just want to, I want to be on the same page. But are you growing weeds so that when you have a goat, the goat has something to eat? Yes, what? but also you can take like the tubers of it and grind it up and use it as food as well. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. It was more of, because you specified weeds. I wasn't sure if you were just like planting shit just to plant shit, or if you had a plan. <laughs> I get to smoke it. <laughs> 
Remember, you actually have your own guard. <laughs> I know. That was, that was a lovely chime in. <laughs> Monkey is straight up doing, in between combats, is straight up doing tabletop Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. No, it's Stardew Valley. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Zasha, what are you doing in the evening? Don't make them fight. Zasha will make sure that Abernathy knows what's going on. Um, that we will be gone for several weeks. Probably. We'll try right. to check in without our I forget what the role was that got the sending stone, but we'll figure something out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, Vicaris, what are you... What were you doing slash not doing if someone was watching you? Um, so in the fire is... Uh, the fire itself kind of like changes and uh, makes the shape of myself and Captain Zendrox dancing. Um, and if you look further out, there is a kind of, the images take, or rather the fire takes the image of a city on fire. <laughs> um, whenever you turn around, Betty is standing there just staring at you, and she just slowly shakes her head no and walks out of the room. <laughs> Oh, that actually, uh, weirdly enough, that does actually remind me. Zasha will find Vicaris at some point. Uh, Vicaris, I have that lamp of yours. Oh, right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll take that now. <laughs> also, just some mechanical stuff. I will, A, um, share the information about the scrolls and the robe with everybody else and try and figure out who best gets what. Um, I will also give the flask with the three remaining, um, uh, uh, I guess, drinks worth of underdrink. I will give that to Dasani uh, and say, mm, you will, I think you've earned this and I think it may come in very handy uh, the next time we get in a fight. Awesome. Thanks to that. <laughs> He looks at it and is like tempting to drink it himself. <laughs> nice. Um, as a note for next time, uh, tonight Vicaris will keep the lamp in his room, but then he's going to take it with him on the boat. I just 100% know that I will forget to say that I'm taking it with me on the boat tomorrow <laughs> or next Thursday. Uh -huh. Put it in the bag. Um, and then also, no, 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 it needs to be out. It needs to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can um, put it in the, you could put it in the loot sheet that you're in control of so that you oh remember. yeah no it's already yeah. there okay. okay um and then also um once i'm done playing with my fire um i'm going to tend to my bird <laughs> <laughs> um what was that list of what was the list of schools and as a reminder i'll also be taking um, the bird with me on the boat as well i'll type it in um, I just I just need to rewind for just a second to the very good moment that almost got breezed by of of uh, fucking Vicaris painting this horrifying like romantic <laughs> scene with fire and Zash look oh I've got something what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he actually saying that does he actually say <laughs> I mean that's what I said earlier I was like oh I didn't get oh. that sorry for that um, then I'll be like oh oh and then I'll like wave my hands and make the fire disappear completely that's uh nothing don't worry about that it's uh it's it's uh, a story we're told as, as children <laughs> <laughs> really because that looks distinctly like a certain merchant uh no so um, I, I understand that sometimes uh, people may see uh, tieflings is all the same, but this was this was certainly uh, a story that we learned as as children, uh, warning us to not fall in love with with tieflings. Can you please and yet you understand? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think you can escape that the one that looks the the figure that is you would look like you. <laughs> and and way to focus on that. Funny. 
and not the fact that salt marsh is on fire in the background of this. <laughs> it wasn't that it was salt marsh. It was just a city. <laughs> I'm still sweating. I don't. I don't specifically want to lie. Salt marsh on fire. Uh, okay. Fire. It's, the story it's is you. Literally any city on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> You know, Vicaris, I'm I'm kind of impressed that you were able to deal with Captain Zendros so well when your people apparently have horribly, shall we say, misguided stories about the Tiefling people. You know, uh, you may find that I am rather advanced uh, when it comes to mingling with other races as my uh, brethren I. Some the younger folk might call me uh, woke. Sweet Jesus! <laughs> no, no, Chris, I I don't think they would. But... Sorry, I thought that was my cat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate <laughs> woke. <laughs> all the same that you. Uh... <laughs> hey guys, you all right, Tristan? Oh, there you he okay, is, dude. <laughs> May or may not have accidentally fallen asleep. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm very tired. Just, just a joke. Oh. <laughs> How about that timing, though? <laughs> yeah, well done. Welcome back. <laughs> um, also, uh, Yop will extract the rake or whatever the gardening implement was that <laughs> right. is in the bag of holding and return it to Yop. Or return it to you. Okay. Oh, thank you. This would really help with the gardening I was going to do. Yes, I'm sorry I forgot about it for so long. Betty doesn't really speak up that well. And Yumi will take it and aggressively de-weed the garden. Alright. And Um. Betty will join her. Okay. She is now... Is Betty helping by being helpful or just like pulling weeds and then like swallowing them? <laughs> oh, worse. She's pulling weeds and then just dropping them. <laughs> I mean, that's that's step one of weeding, so right. it's not actually not helpful. <laughs> right. uh, okay. I'm going to burn it down after you de weed it. I mean, pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> Second, Duck! <laughs> second step to any good weeding. Fireball. Sweet Jesus, Duck. <laughs> no, you gotta smoke it, right? <laughs> oh, super good, folks. All right. Uh, sorry, Tristan, but that session actually. <laughs> <laughs>